Hi guys, it's David from Your Instrument Flight Review and today I would like to give you a short review of a product that I have recently tested. Now this program is a cockpit procedure trainer available from trainbeforeflight.com. So what is the program about? Basically, um, it's a very simple to use app um, that you can use on a tablet and it will allow you to practice the cockpit procedures for commercial airplanes such as Boeing, Airbus and others. Um, if you want further information on the models, just go ahead and check out their website. So as a pilot and flight instructor myself, I decided to download this program and give it a try a few weeks ago. And uh, I was very impressed by the idea behind this program from the very first day I started using it. So no matter if you go for your type rating or you just want to practice or you want to keep up with routine um, doing the procedures, this is a great way of doing it. I said in the simulator myself, it's fun, it's so much better than going through book pages or a great combination with the book. Um, I used it, I liked it a lot, uh, very modern way of learning. So before I keep talking about this app, I would just say let's get started with the review and I'll see you in just a moment. Hey guys, this is David again and I'm back here with the actual review part. As you can see here right in front of the camera, I have... Um, open the app, that's the program that I decided um, to try out and as I already uh, mentioned before I want to give you a, a quick introduction to the company's website so you know how to get the program and try it out yourself. So this is basically them, again train before flight, they have different products available, mm -hmm. uh, some of them are on this page right here and as you can see their cockpit procedure trainers um, are available for different models. So uh, once uh, you have uh, received that email, you can just open the app, put all the information in there, meaning product key, license key, and so on, whatever is required. Um, that means it's saved on a tablet. Using it does not require an internet connection. Downloading, of course, does. Uh, so once that's done, you can just use it whenever you want, even if you have no internet. So this is... Um, the final result after the download, it tells you what it is. It's normal procedures. It's also available for emergency procedures. So let's go right in here. So you will see that it will start up. Again, the app is called AEL, standing for Aviation E-Learning. Now this is the home screen. As you can see here, it's a very nice picture, great quality of the Boeing 737NG model. Uh, you can swipe around here with your fingertip very easily. Um, it's great. Um, it moves perfectly. You can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, you can check everything out. I think the picture is amazing. Uh, very good quality here. Um, now what the zoom in zoom out feature is good for besides this part you will see in a little bit. Again this is the main screen. Up here you have limitations. Um, which you can access from here, limitations right here, and then you have a full page of limitations as you can see for the different kinds of 737 models. Okay, you have all sorts of limitations, it's very cool, very simple. Um, and then it says choose flow, okay. Now, on the left side of the screen you have that arrow button. So you tap that and the main menu basically opens. From there on you can choose which procedures you would like to go through. Just as an example here, uh, let's go or start with electrical power up. So you tap that and this is basically what the program is made for. So you have um, step one, two, three, four, five and so on. And um, you can zoom in now and see that this one indicates the battery. So you tap on number one and this is the uh, most amazing thing about this. It basically tells you what position the switch should be on for that procedure. Battery switch guard closed. And um, it's also marked here with a blue line. So you cannot really miss it. Um, step two would then be stand um, standby power. Switch guard closed as well. Again, it's marked. Um, and then you can swipe to number three and so on. So it's very cool, very easy to handle, very easy to work with this. And then you can also go down um, to the throttle quadrant. Um, you have the gear right here, gear lever would be uh, step number six. Verify that that's down. And it doesn't only give you um, 
like the part of the checklist so to say it also tells you what to do like verify that the green landing gear indicator lights are illuminated it really tells you step by step um, what you have to do uh, or how it should look like now let's go back to the gyro mode here really quick um, again as you can see here I'm not really moving the screen by my, uh, with the fingers now as you can see I'm just tilting it forward and back so this is the gyro mode very cool idea also um, this is the other way to look at it you can either go that way and then you can go up here in the upper right corner basically next to broken it says C flow and this one gives you a broad overview of the steps you have to take um, start here with the battery switch and then from here you go there you just follow these curved arrow lines basically and you will see what you have to do it's basically like a check um, on whether you did everything correctly or not so this is the quick check and this basically is the step by step example okay uh, that's another great feature here before start procedure you can choose whether you want to do the procedures uh, that the first officer would have to do at that moment or the captain you just go tap on first officer and it will start right here with step number one meaning flight deck door closed and locked um, again you can swipe up and down here um, you can move it around like this you can um, check uh, step number two and three you can zoom out zoom in because there's still some stuff to do um, the overhead panel right here and then in the upper left corner you have the one that you have selected which is slightly brighter so if you want to uh, change to captain you're just going to tap on captain and will switch right away to whatever the captain has to do um, for that procedure okay same thing with zoom in zoom out and then you can go on each of these like i explained before very simple there's another one i think it's the pre-flight procedure yes um pre-flight procedure this is um, one of the main procedures why I think that the zoom zoom function is great um, and actually a must because you see a whole lot of numbers here, a whole lot of steps to do, but you would not be able to actually figure it out if you wouldn't if you wouldn't be able to zoom in. So if we zoom in, we know exactly or more or less what we have to do. And if you're still not sure if you're doing that for the very first time, maybe you could just tap it and here we go. Um, display select panel set okay so it does explain you what to do so especially for this part I think the zooming future um, is great and there's quite a lot to do in this step here um, also if you compare these to the PMDG model which is available for the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, you can easily see that the real steps are a lot more than what they made up for the flight simulator software which is I would just say a shortcut or um, the easy version of that obviously and then you uh, can again go to captain and you will see what the captain has to do okay and again up here see flow you can switch between um, each step and just the flow the flow basically provides you with a broader overview of um, going from number one then going through the MCP panel and so on and so on forth okay um, yeah I mean that's pretty much it already about this program I think it's not overloaded it has the most basic steps on it um, the most basic stuff that you are required to know but it has pretty much all procedures in here from electrical power up all the way through here to secure procedure um, and one more thing I wanted to show you also very cool is the CDU pre-flight procedure it basically tells you how to set up your um, CDU um, you have nav data again it's, ex it's explained step by step how to enter that and stuff so um, very very easy and cool I guess so as you can see right here everything is explained through roughly When I decided um, to uh, buy 
or try out this program, I was actually guessing that I could really move um, or switch around buttons and all these toggle switches. Unfortunately, um, that's not the case. Um, if you want to do that, you do have to go back to the flight simulator software. Um, but I'm still hoping that they may be able to implement that in the near future uh, in that program. I don't know if it's possible or not. I'm not an expert in that. But that would really be cool um, if you have like a feedback, so to say, of what you are doing. Um, but for now, this is a great learning program, I guess. Um, much better than going through book pages, especially if you sit in a simulator, which I have also done and tried. Much easier, much cooler, more fun, and more advanced. So we have come to the end of my review here. Um, again, this is a cockpit procedure trainer available from trainbeforeflight.com. It's available for different models, um, as you saw before, so check it out for yourself. I think what they offer is definitely affordable. No matter if you go for a real type rating uh, or just want to practice for fun, um, whatever your reason may be. But um, really cool, really fun, and um, we'll see um, what's next with the program. I'm really um, wondering. Again, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked the review. If you do so, I would appreciate any thumbs up. Again, my name is David from Instrument Flight Review. Thanks for watching.